welcome back to nadarshan biotech so guys today we are having mopi devi ss krishna with us who is going to face his hrrl interview so today we are scheduling his hrrl subject wise interview so first of all we will start it first of all this interview will be based on heat transfer so now we will be starting our heat transfer question so yes mopi devi what are the yes, three main modes of so we will be starting first of all please introduce yourself Yes, sir. Uh, uh, good evening, sir. Uh, I'm I'm Mr. Sai Krishna. Actually, I have I have completed my B Tech in 2019 at Anits uh, Vizag. After that, uh, uh, I went I pursued Gate preparation uh, in the I qualified Gate in the continuous streak of three years. After that, I did my first job at HPCL Mangalore LPG import facility as a contract engineer. And after that, I again uh, I give I have given Gate. I uh, mean, uh, I have again given Gate and I scored 640 All India. and uh, now currently i am doing as a uh, control room engineer at uh, agp pratham atlantic gulf and pacific company it is all about cryogenic lng operations okay that's great that's great sai krishna so, so sai krishna uh, please tell me what are the three main modes of heat transfer actually the three main modes of heat transfer are conduction convection and radiation sir while coming to conduction uh, the, uh, the heat transfer mechanism is completely uh, by a molecular uh, not actually uh, it is purely dependent on uh, molecular level uh, matlab uh, the 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 high molecular interaction uh, molecular interaction actually and uh, matlab uh, it is going to transfer through only molecular phenomena and uh, like from one molecule to the next adjacent molecule it will it will takes place like that only and while coming to convection actually actually there will be external agent uh, like air or something uh, through that mode uh, convection is going to take place and while coming to uh, radiation it is only uh, which very significant at uh, very higher temperatures like uh, like greater than 1000 degree centigrade and it, which doesn't require a medium for heat transfer unlike other two okay so can you provide some examples in daily life situations uh like when uh when oh, coming to, uh okay sir uh, well uh, while coming to conduction uh, we can observe conduction uh, in uh, that's that's all actually right? suppose uh, if we uh, if, if, uh, if we keep a um, like uh, if we keep boiling water uh, on on or uh, like on or any any vessel or something first uh, initially it is going to transfer heat from uh, the low, uh, uh, from the flame to the adjacent uh, steel vessel which is going to transfer through conduction and uh, uh obviously the molecules on the lower side will become uh, too uh, due to that heat it will become too much uh, dense and it will uh, it will propagate upwards uh, and while coming convection and radiation please provide examples only yeah okay sir not elaborate okay sir well coming to convection obviously if you keep uh, if you are drinking coffee uh, uh, beside pan or something it will be uh, a good a good example of convection and radiation uh, Uh, no sir actually radiation to be significant uh, generally we can't observe radiation we significantly can. Uh, we, can. Uh, we can we can observe the solar radiations from sun that is being directly transmitted to us right that is being absorbed by our body that is being absorbed in the earth surface on the earth surface right so we yes, can yes, observe sir. it yes, yes. Okay, give me a second okay, okay. so uh krishna uh, uh, just one uh, recommendation you know when you speak uh, it's okay if you speak you know slowly that okay, way, uh, we as a interviewer we are able to grasp what you are saying easily okay, okay you don't need to be very fast even you know during uh, when when we ask you tell tell us about yourself uh, you were so fast that it was you know hard for us to comprehend what you are saying okay sir okay, okay so please do take care of that you know i mean Uh, you would i i understand you will always have answers to the question but it is important that your answer should be heard okay sir yeah. and uh, so, somewhat be less panic okay take yes, it lightly right take it lightly as simple as you can take take that okay okay sir okay chill ha uh, be in the I mean, chill environment okay yeah so I mean, you seem you seem little anxious so just stay back and relax do you want yes, to do some I, you know slow breathing yeah 
Uh, actually, the problem is uh, the anxiousness, uh, anxiousness is because of actually I haven't prepared much because uh, in this last four months, I've been completely dedicated to my job. Uh, that's why uh, I'm preparing now. So it is only because of that. Once uh, it, uh, after five, six days, I'll, it'll be, it'll, it'll complete uh, completely. Well, well then no, that's amazing. Good. I mean, that's the confidence, uh, uh, I mean, one should have that like, you know, within next five, seven, five, seven days, I will be at a level that I won't be anxious. Yes. Okay, so that's okay. cool, actually. No issues. Mostly the questions will be asked from your HPCL LNG only, but still, okay. Uh, to quick revise, we are taking the subject wise yeah. mock, right? Okay. So, coming to the point, right? Explain the concept of thermal conductivity. Sir, uh, while coming to thermal conductivity, it is nothing but. Uh... Uh, it is nothing. It is generated by K, which is having units of uh, uh, watt per meter Kelvin. Thermal conductivity is nothing but the amount of heat that can be transferred in a material uh, amount that can be transferred in a material. Example, for example, like uh, uh, for diamond, uh, you, we can check the quality uh, of diamond by thermal conductivity because thermal conductivity of diamond is one of the highest. Like it is, it is uh, around twenty two hundred or something. Uh, suppose if we transfer that amount, uh, that much amount of heat, and if we suddenly kept in water. Obviously, uh, if it if it is not if it is a fake thing, then we can observe like cracks or something. If it is only diamond, obviously, uh, the it is transferring capacity. After that, if you keep it in water such that the heat should be transferred, sir. Suppose if the heat is not transferred, suppose if it is uh, feeling somewhat hot, uh, then we can easily tell that it it is a fake thing. Uh, I need definition in one line for thermal conductivity. Uh, the amount of heat transfer per unit uh, temperature gradient yeah. uh, per, per unit area per, per unit, unit temperature uh, per unit temperature gradient correct correct uh, how does it differ for conductors insulators and semiconductors yes sir uh, while uh, while conductors like metals uh, uh, thermal conductivity is mostly due to free electrons sir thermal conductivity so obviously uh, there are uh, so many uh, the problem with, with metals is actually if we increase the temperature, obviously the random movement of free electrons increases. Uh, it, it, it is get uh, this free electrons movement gets restricted by the lattice vibrations. So if we increase the temperature for metals, obviously because of that uh, restriction, we can observe that there is a decrease in thermal conductivity for metals. And for uh, non-metals, obviously the most important factor which will be comprising is uh, lattice vibrations. Because of lattice vibrations, as we increase the temperature, obviously lattice vibration increases, which results to the increase of thermal conductivity. And while in uh, Krishna, Krishna, slow down. Sir. Okay, slow sir. Down. Okay. okay, sir. Let, yeah, us, while, let us grasp what you are saying. Okay. Yeah. Please. What I am saying is, while uh, in non-metals, actually, uh, the the uh, the reason which contribute to the thermal conductivity is uh, lattice vibrations. As we increase the temperature, obviously, lattice vibration increases, which contributes to the most more thermal conductivity. Uh, yeah, while coming to the gases, uh, it is purely uh, the mechanism is through molecular uh, collision of gases. Obviously, uh, thermal conductivity is directly proportional to square root of temperature. As we increase temperature, obviously, due to the molecular uh, interactions, molecular uh, molecular collisions, obviously, thermal conductivity increases. Uh, while for liquids, actually, there is no any specific trend for thermal conductivity, sir. Okay. Except for. Uh, but I ask the difference. How does it differ from, from conductor, insulator, and semiconductor? I ask that. Not metals, non-metals, and the gases. I didn't ask that. Did you get what? What is it? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Actually, you asked for con uh, met, uh, conductors, Condu right? Conductors and yeah. semiconductors. Conductor, semiconductor, and insulators. Obviously, for conductors, uh, thermal conductor. Uh, if we okay. We can observe thermal conductivity due to heat or electrical, uh, like uh, electrical mechanism, or by heat we can observe thermal conductivity. In uh, semiconductors, obviously, even though if you apply heat or electrical current, uh, we there is no much uh, electrical. I mean, thermal conductivity can be observed. Sir. Okay, no issues. I will be telling the answer. Okay, so uh, you must be knowing about heat exchanger, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. So, yes, what is the primary purpose of a heat exchanger? So the primary purpose of a heat exchanger is to, uh, whatever the fluid, uh, process fluid, whichever is our process fluid, we have to whether increase uh, whether uh, 
depending on the conditions whether it, uh, it, it has to increase temperature or decrease its temperature uh, basically heat exchanger is the device to transfer heat right heat. yes sir yeah okay either it lowers down either it lowers down the temperature or it enhances yeah. the temperature either it enhances the temperature okay so can you describe a specific application where the heat exchanger is basically commonly used in hpc lng you must have seen or ap lng right where you are working yes sir actually in uh, like in compressor generally for oil cooling we use heat exchanger by uh, water as a medium sir but especially for oil cooling after compression oil temperature increases so much uh, after that we have to cool it we'll use uh, water cooled heat exchanger i mean through oil and water are the two things which we'll use sir great okay so so what's the plus continue yeah so i'm एक जस्ट अ मिनट माय कैमरा वर्ड डिस्कनेक्टेड अगेन लेट मी कनेक्ट इट या सो कृष्णा सेड यू यू आर वर्किंग इट लिक्विड एलएनजी राइट सॉरी एचपीसीएल एलएनजी प्लांट सर नो नो सर फर्स्ट आई यूज्ड इट आई यूज्ड टू वर्क इट एलपीजी प्लांट आफ्टर दैट आई आई एम वर्किंग इट एजीपीसीटी गैस एलएनजी प्लांट जस्ट जॉइन टू थ्री मंथ्स बैक ओके एंड व्हाट्स योर वर्क देयर सर माय डिजाइनेशन इज कंट्रोल रूम इंजीनियर सर आई नो व्हाट डू यू डू uh the thing is i'll be uh, like uh, there will be daughter booster stations uh, like we'll be uh, in linking with so many uh, stations like iocl banks petrol banks and we'll be uh, we'll be setting up a separate uh, manufacturing uh, equipment and we'll uh, fill we'll fill lng to our vehicles along, okay. along with that there is cgd is a city gas distribution got it got it so uh let's come to radiation uh, what is the mechanism of radiation mechanism of radiation and how uh, the radiation happen we can say okay what is mechanism of conduction you have told it already yes sir molecular collisions correct and lattice vibration Lat uh, lattice vibration or uh, nahi uh, that's uh, lattice vibration and uh, electrons free electrons that's for conduction uh, see, it's all right it's all right take it little bit slow okay. so uh, what is the uh, mechanism of radiation no sir actually i am unable to figure it out okay so uh, have you heard about electromagnetic waves uh, yes sir you got it now yeah yeah yes sir so can you explain a little bit about it no sir no no currently i am unable to explain it i'll get back to you okay sure uh so uh yeah, one minute Okay, so I will be asking, what is the difference between a steady state and transient heat transfer? Sir, actually, steady state heat transfer refers to suppose uh, suppose if we taken a particular rod, uh, one particular rod, and we are supplying heat from one end. Suppose if we fix one position, uh, uh, suppose at x is equal to one meter from uh, the leading edge. मतलब इट्स टेम्परेचर शुडेंट सो रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम लाइक वेदर इट टी T is equal to two seconds, five seconds, ten seconds. At a particular point, especially, its temperature shouldn't change. It is called steady states. Uh, it and while coming to transient heat transfer, uh, it is uh, obviously suppose uh, at x is equal to one meter. If uh, temperature initially is uh, some twenty degrees centigrade, after that time, obviously, it will change with respect to time. Transient. Okay. So uh, yes, you said that correct. Okay. Uh, so when is lump parameter analysis used in transient analysis? Uh, actually, lump parameter uh, analysis used in electrical wires. It seems, sir. Electrical? Ah, uh, uh, like electrical wires. Electrical wires. Uh, due to uh, actually, what are the heat generated in the electrical uh, things? It should uh, it should get out. Uh, for actually, lump parameter analysis is uh, one of the application of that. Ah, uh, no. 
Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, it is done that way. But, but I was asking, yes. when is lump parameter analysis comes into the picture, right? Okay. Yeah, if it comes into picture and biotum is less than one set. Yes. Okay. So when do we use Eisler chart method and error function method? Do you know about that? What sir? Do you know about Heisler chart method and error function method? Yeah, actually. Uh, that too. Hmm. Uh, Heisler charts are used for unsteady state heat conduction, sir. Unsteady state? Unsteady state heat con conduction. That is also used in transient heat conduction only, yeah, right? Yeah, transient yeah. heat conduction. Anyway. Okay, no issues. Sure. So, uh, Krishna, uh, let's come to convection. Okay. So uh, let's say there is a rod. You just mentioned it, you know, uh, uh, while uh, explaining, uh, explaining us the difference. There is a rod. It is uniformly heated. Okay, sir. And the surrounding, uh, it is, uh, you know, its temperature is more than the surrounding air temperature. Okay, sir. Now there are two cases, case A and case B. In case A, the heated rod is placed horizontally. Okay, sir. And in case B, the heated rod is placed vertically. Yes, sir. So, uh, in uh, in which case the rod will get cooled? I mean, will the conduct uh, will the convection happen first? Tell me that. Yes. Sir, the external surrounding temperature is greater than the rod temperature, right? No, it is less than rod temperature. Obviously, sir, convection uh, will happen definitely because convection uh, is a fact. Uh, is obviously it will it is so uh, like uh, because of the heat transfer coefficients, it is too complicated. Uh, uh, where uh, like if you keep the if you keep the rod vertical, obviously there will be convection currents generating uh, much higher. Uh, because of uh, the gradient existing, obviously, when we keep the rod vertical, there will be more convection, sir, as far as I'm concerned. Correct. Why is that? You're right. The vertical John, the vertical rod will get cooled down faster. It will have a higher convection than the horizontal one. Now, why? Sir, uh, if we consider the, suppose if we consider the horizontal rod, uh, like, uh, well, first, I will explain. That. If we consider, if we consider the vertical rod, uh, take it slow. Take it slow. Yeah. Shant, shant. Soch, okay. soch ke Yes, yes. See, we can, we can clearly see. You know the answer, but we need to understand. You should, you should be able to present it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We know you know the answer, right, Jess? Presentation is important, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Go ahead. Take your time and see. Okay, next. Okay, sir. Next, next. Okay, sure. Fine. Do, do think okay, about... so yeah, we will be concluding our... Okay, so sir, we will be concluding heat transfer interview here only and we will sure. be starting with the mass transfer, okay? So, okay. I am stopping the recording. So, guys, if you have to mock the mock for HRRL or IOCL, if you have to do the preparation for GD, GT, PI, you can enroll in our Abhiyan batch. You can enroll in our Abhiyan batch where you can enroll in our Abhiyan batch. To enroll in our Abhiyan batch, where you will be getting the dedicated box, personal interviews, group discussion, group tasks, and everything. Even with interview preparation material, you will be provided. You will be getting, you will be getting, okay, which is uploaded in the app. So, guys, all the best and uh, thank you.